Hey, I'm Raghu, one of the bloggers for Study in Sweden. And I was, uh, since the application deadlines are nearing, I was thinking of making a video about how to strengthen your application. And this is about uh, strengthening the motivation letter. I want to emphasize that uh, this is not an official video by any Swedish university, but just my observations and tips. So I like to break my cover letter into three parts. The first part would be the mission or my life story almost. The second part would be what uh, value or skills and qualities I bring to the university. And the third part is why I want to go to this particular university and, and this country. So when I talk about my life story or mission, <coughs> uh, this is the first part and it really tells uh, uh, my story and why it's so unique and why only this university or this country can fulfill my dream kind of uh, it's really important that there is a kind of a story because it makes it relatable to a real person and gives your um, name and your number that some kind of a story to back up so that people can imagine who you are as a person um, this forms like the foundation of the cover letter, but it also has to be really concise and small because the second part, which is what values or what skills you bring to the university, that is the most important part. And this has to be the longest part and you have to really uh, give examples and reiterate why uh, you bring certain skills. Mm, like for example, in Swedish universities, there's a lot of group work. So being a great team player is, of course, a valuable skill, but it has to come out in your examples or the stories that you say, rather than you just saying that I'm a great team player. It would be much more convincing if it comes out through a story where uh, under trying circumstances, you were a team player and genuinely showed your team skills. <laughs> And then the third part of the cover letter would be uh, about why this particular, why you want to go to this particular university, or in this case, why do you want to go to Sweden? And that has to come out again um, in a very genuine way, rather than saying things that are um, rather well known. And what many people will say, you really have to focus on why you want to go to Sweden and why you want to go to this university. I think it's really important that this part sounds genuine. It need not be too long, it has to be concise, but also to the point and say something genuine about why you love this country. This could be because of the experiences you've had traveling to this country, or if you met some Swedish people outside, or if your friends study in this country, or if you met somebody from the university, it should be a personal story again about why you want to join this university and this country that's basically it about the motivation letter and best of luck and hope uh, this video has helped you i've also added a lot of uh, links in the description of this video and you can read them and check them out um, best of luck and hope you apply to sweden bye